quick disclaimer this video is pretty exaggerated on the uncleanliness because of the sake of me recording this video I did let it go overboard before I got to it I could have cleaned it sooner but I wanted to record a cleaning video so I'm gonna be using Lysol with bleach to trace my walls with and you let this product sit for about 10 to 15 minutes as per the directions um, and then you clean it up but I let mine sit for like 20 minutes do as you please so basically um, my bathroom is mostly dealing with mold at this moment which is not a common occurrence for me too much but con um, mold is basically causing bathrooms by not having enough ventilation which was my problem or also by having damp materials maybe wet towels or anything going on also if you have any leak leaking sinks or toilet that can also you know cause mold you don't want to have anything wet sitting around and you want to make sure you have proper ventilation going on so back to the video um the product you see here is lysol that was toilet bowl cleaner i'm removing a old shower curtain that was up um not too long but long enough for me to the point where i don't want it up anymore and i'm going to be replacing it with a new shower curtain so um it will get into your tub just try to ignore that part i'm scrubbing it here with water um, with the scrubber and it set for about 20 minutes like I said so I'm just removing the residue from it you know scrubbing it out I did use a toothbrush as well to get into the cracks and crevices and I also have this mildew and soap scum remover that is from a local grocery store and I also use this mold and mildew stain remover which I absolutely love if you if you happen to be dealing with mold so that's from Dollar Tree and this is as well basic bathroom cleaner with bleach by the works I love this product as well so so I know it's a lot of chemicals I did have on two masks and I'm also using window cleaner with vinegar in it the vinegar is the product that really you know makes it work great so um, pine cleaner this product works on walls ceramic tiles toilets hard surfaces garbage cans I'm using it on my bathroom walls because they start to get a little icky and I'm also using this um, spick and span antibacterial on my light switch area as you see so there's me wiping it down, pretty much um, just getting like all the ickiness off the walls. Those two products worked great. The walls look amazing now. So this is um, vinegar in a spray bottle. It's the household cleaning kind. Um, I use that on my shower walls and my ceilings most definitely because that is the area where mold builds up in my bathroom if I don't have enough ventilation. So I want to tell you guys the results were great. Majority of what you see here did come off the ceiling. And this Spick and Span antibacterial I'm using on the sink area. And I also used um, this basic bathroom cleaner with bleach on the sink area as well. So you see me wiping that all down. And I also sanitized my towel rack that sits above my toilet and the walls as well so here you just see me disinfecting my towel holder and the walls um, pretty much everything that is within that toilet area and I also spick and span down my toilet um, I pretty much just went like crazy OCD with the um, this disinfectant spray so I made sure I got between every crack and crevice of the toilet you see me here with the paper towel and I'm just going along the top area of the toilet seat and I also made sure that I did this you know top section here where the water is and I didn't forget to get in the bottom area in the back which gets really you know yucky and just build up this is a two dollar brush from Walmart that I'm scrubbing with Ajax inside the toilet bowl with and then I took my mildew soap and um, scum remover and I got inside of the soap holder area that's inside of my shower with one of these um, really thick like abrasive type of um, I have to figure out the name of that but the little cleaning product there I also cleaned my faucet in the tub with that as well and got a lot of gunk off and I used Ajax with bleach inside of the tub area which I've been doing for a long time that's just my go-to product for inside of the tub area it works really great at getting up build up um, so yeah that's just what I use and would recommend so you can see me here cleaning it out with water and then I use this um, quick shine floor cleaner which I've been using for a long time as well I put that in a bucket of water with pine cleaner and I have two different mops because one of them I cleaned the mold off the ceiling with and the other one I only cleaned the floors with so um, that one time use one from the dollar store I just throw that out once I'm done cleaning my ceiling with it but you'll see me mopping here and then um, in between time I also was you know cleaning the toilet I did a lot of different things at once 
um, make sure that you pretty much ventilate your area with like windows open or have a fan going because after a while all those chemicals are just kind of too much so I also use this window cleaner with vinegar on my mirrors of course because that's what it's for it's glass cleaner um, I know I look a little crazy in this video because the sunglasses are from when I'm cleaning the ceiling. I don't um, want any products to drip down on me, um, you know, with my eyes out. So I have on sunglasses and two masks and you just see me here cleaning the ceiling area with this little mop that I told you guys I throw away once I'm done. I only use it one time. You can get those from Dollar Tree um, if you happen to have a ceiling that's, you know, gets moldy from not having like enough ventilation or air coming in. If you have a window in your bathroom, that's great. I don't have a window in this bathroom, so it can build up mold from, you know, just humidity. So this Spick and Span antibacterial and this basic cleaner I am going to go over my sink with that product does have bleach in it and I also went over it with this alcohol on my knobs and you know just inside and I also did my toilet um, flusher area so this here is my little caddy rack in the shower that I've had for quite some time as you see it built up like soap scum so I replaced that with a brand new one that I got on sale at Walmart which I absolutely love this is how it looks hanging up in the bathroom and this decor that you see here is all from Dollar Tree. Um, this is how my caddy looks. That little loofah with the cupcake is from Dollar Tree. Those are Bath and Body Works body washes. I have a face cream and my shampoo and conditioner. So these kitchen towels, I just wanted to let it be known that you can get those at Dollar Tree. It doesn't cost a lot to decorate your bathroom. Pretty cute. Um, I'm not sure they have that same style though. And these pictures, the little artwork is also from Dollar Tree. This clock is from Ross and it cost me $9.99 as you see here. I absolutely love it. And then I have this um, toilet paper holder which I got at Goodwill which is a secondhand store. And that's just the tissue that I'm using at the moment. These uh, rugs are also from Dollar Tree. That is the back of them if you care to see how that looks. And this is just me placing them down, putting them, you know, in the spot where I want them to be. I love how it turned out. And this is just how everything came together. So, yeah, hope you like it. Guys, so these are my finished results. So far, I am in love with the outcome. I absolutely love how everything turned out. So, as you see, this is how I was able to get the ceiling to look. I have this clock here from Ross that was $10. And then these little green circle decorations were um, about like six, seven dollars. The rugs on the floor are from the dollar store. Um, these towels here, which are so cute. I love the outcome. I didn't expect it to be that pretty with the shower curtain. So the towels were from the dollar store, all of them. And as well as these pictures that are on top of the towels, those are from the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, all of this is from Dollar Tree right here. And this little plaque on top of the toilet is also from Dollar Tree that says, so fresh, so clean. I thought that was cute for the bathroom. So this is my tissue holder and the tissue holder is from a secondhand store. I believe I got this at Goodwill. It was really cheap and affordable. It's so pretty. I've been having this little rack for a minute now. It's like from the secondhand store. So this little rack, I keep my tissue up here and I'm going to start keeping like a small amount of little bath products on there as well. So I have this Queen D um, Pop the Bubbly. It's a bubble bath for when I'm taking a bath. And then I have the FDS pH balance with aloe vera in it. Um, and then I have this little um, like shower set with a loofah and it comes with a shower gel, a lotion, and a spray. This mirror here, I paid $10 from the secondhand store and I feel like that's absolutely beautiful. Um, it, it just makes everything come together and it kind of opens up the room and makes the bathroom look a little bigger because my bathroom is really small. Those are from Dollar Tree as well. I have this Unstoppables um, air freshener for the bathroom from Febreze. And then I have these Q-tips in a little jar that I got from Dollar Tree. So you should be able to find that if you like that for Q-tips or whatever you want to put in there. And then I, um, I have my toothbrush holder over here. So this toothbrush holder was on sale at Walmart. Sea Island Cotton hand soap that is foam and this is from Bath and Body Works. The shower curtain is from Amazon and I believe that was about like $26 legit. I hope you guys like how it looks. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. This is how it looks once I cleaned everything up. I hope you guys absolutely like or love what you see. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what you think.